What's up everybody? I'm Nova coming at you with another one. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I smell a correction coming. I think we're really close to one. Um, and too many people. Like Bitcoin or crypto has gone super mainstream, hasn't it? Everybody's talking about it. So uh, welcome to the bubble. How long is this going to last? I don't know. I guess I'll have to play back with some previous candles, but as of right now, uh, this is starting to look like um, yeah, it's starting to look like it's gonna get weak. That's what I'm thinking about. This has been on a run. We haven't had any bounces off the twenty in a while, so I think setting buys at around maybe sixteen hundred or below might be deal hunting territory. And uh, we haven't touched the 50 in a while, so I don't know how many ETH you're planning to uh, uh, to try and scoop, but some price points to look at if you're trying to buy multiple ETH. Uh, the 1600 obviously, and the 50 down around uh, 1300 uh, That would be a major correction down to about 1300 That ought to scare people. Um, the only thing... Well, one reason for the catalyst is if you're thinking, Gan, we've already we've hit a price point that is actually a turn in history, and that would be 1800. Uh, forget about the decimals, and you'd have 180 degrees. So we're expecting a turn every uh, every 45 degrees is a potential turn, and uh, 1800 is one of them. Uh, we can see that the candle bodies on. Hankanashi are getting thinner and it's possible that uh, we're going to come back down and start testing lower levels. Uh, you can see the spacing over here versus these guys and this is like maybe two cycles in one. So um, what I mean is this one there. And that kind of says that we're due for one. And then if we go to, say, roughly there, what is that? 11 days, 11 days, 11 days, a bit overdue. Um, and this one says right about here. So I think we're due for the dip or the correction. I'm not sure if this is a major top and we're kind of, we're going to come back down and start testing lower levels. But um, if we go to uh, Japanese candles, uh, we can see that we've been above the 20. And most of the price support is going to be down around, what is that, 1400? Um, we were looking at 1440, which was the previous high. At previous all-time high. Come on, let's go right there over here, which was uh, January tenth, and uh, that was major resistance as we tried to break through. Right, so the spring tightened up; uh, it was pretty wound up. We broke to the upside, and now we've got to come back down. So this. This may be the quiet times of uh, Ethereum, and then maybe the smaller alts are going to go nutso like they've been doing already. But um, I just I can smell it. I smell a correction. And if we look at the wicks, I mean the wicks, the wicks are lower highs. Uh, we've got to wait and see if this candle closes lower again, and then that means we've got lower lows. Let me turn off the APO MACD. Uh, well, before we do, we can see that we're about to flash um, uh, red, but we're above the zero cross, so this is more consolidation. If it were below, then we would expect um, like violent dips down to around the 200 or so. And I don't, I don't see that. Maybe on lower time zones. <clears throat> yeah, we're kind of skirting. So unclear direction, just a slow climb, which is good. Um, but it doesn't it look like we're kind of losing steam? 
on the uh, 100. So coming down and testing the 200, which would be around uh, 1750 on the hourly. Um, and if that were the case, possibly coming down and testing the 350 uh, on the hourly. We've been uh, pipping the top for a while. That was the only time we saw an entry on the hourly, uh, which was just after this here. And I, it just looks like it's losing steam to me. Uh, going to daily, you can see, you know, price is going up, but volume is dropping. So the institutions are saying buy Bitcoin. And you know the slogan, when they say B-U-Y, I say B-Y-E. Uh, so get ready, set your stops, uh, maybe put some aggressive bids in uh, back down around here. If you're patient, you may want to grab some short term trades for flipping. But I think I think we're losing steam and we're probably going to see um, the, the, the correction happening. And as I speak, I'm starting to see divergence on uh, what is this? The the MFI and the RSI. So both we've got lower highs up around here, and these are actually higher highs. So um, I know that we're seeing things turn around now, but I have a feeling I have a feeling we're going to go a little bit lower. Uh, you know, everything's pointed the correct way. I just, I don't know. It smells fishy to me. Anyways, short-term correction, or is this the top? Not sure yet. Um, this could be the top for maybe a short amount of time before we continue. Ultimately, the extreme top of this bull run, uh, we were forecasting with that, uh, what do you call it? 90% correction after crossing the 1618 and that was putting us around under 5k uh, which is crazy to even think about but ethereum's the next you know the the next bad boy around the block here so um, long term maybe up around here short term maybe start thinking uh, in between the 20 and the 50. Possibly lower time frames might actually tell us where we're going. Uh, where are we here? We touched the 100. Odds of touching the 100 again. You know, 1800 and we're maybe $200 cheaper. I would love Ethereum $200 cheaper. And uh, watching the, the hourly, if we break... If we break that, uh, what is that, 745 mark, yeah, I think we're going to come back down a little or stretch this out, and then that'll feel more appetite, appetizing right there. 1640. So we're just starting to pierce through a couple wicks on the uh, 110 on the hourly. So the next dip will likely be around 1738. Uh, and then maybe we'll hit resistance on the 110. Um, and then this might squeeze and push down. Possible. Um, here we go. 15 minute. We've seen death crosses in the past and it showed stability. So we need something um, like the 200 and the 350 on the 15 minute to really confirm uh, a big push to the downside. And... We just see these uh, EMAs getting closer and closer together. What's the one minute look like? So the day traders are obviously following the 50. And every time it touches the 50, we're seeing shorts. So short, short. Uh, we do have higher highs here, but I have a feeling it's going to continue down for a little bit more. And that's about it for Ethereum. I don't really have anything else. I just, something smells funny to me right now. And uh, of course, I'm thinking long term up, but I think uh, correction is about due. So, do trade safe.